Somewhere in a corner of South Wales is a place that feels like it's from another planet. This is the Newport Wafer Fab, where they turn silicon into silicon chips, and it's pretty unique. These large circular wafers of pure silicon are sliced into smaller chips, crucial in pretty much all electric devices. Now, I've been in a few factories in my life, but never quite like this. We have to wear these clothes because it is a clean room, cleaner than an operating theatre. All of the air is circulated and recirculated through these grills here. And look at those orange lights over there. That's to protect these silicon wafers from harsh lighting. And it underlines just how high-tech all the equipment has to be to create these tiny silicon wafers that play such a big role in our lives. And places like this don't come cheap. It will cost upwards of a billion pounds to build this fabrication plant from scratch and fill it with all these machines. This is where we print the patterns on the, on the wafers. But the chips they make here aren't the ones that do the thinking in computers. They do something else, less glamorous but no less important. They channel power. The chips we make um, can go into automotive, into cars, as you, as you said, and that can range anywhere from, from the uh, management systems, the engine management systems, uh, LED lighting, electric windows. So typically we, we might have around 250 Xperia parts within any new car that is bought today. Really? And, and possibly, you know, made here in Wales? Made here in Wales. Last year Newport was taken over by Nexperia, a Netherlands-based company with Chinese owners. Earlier this year, the business secretary said the deal would be reviewed for national security reasons. Would it facilitate the leakage of secrets or intelligence to China? But with the government melting down, the decision was pushed back to September. Uncertainty or changes in leadership, they don't uh, facilitate a fast decision making. So I would welcome clarity on all fronts in such a way that, uh, yeah, that our, our employees can, uh, can move on and they can look forward to more new colleagues. Uh, the investigation has basically put the clock back a bit. But questions are also being asked about whether the takeover will undermine the wider tech sector. Spectrum moved. Kind of Rockley Photonics, which designs state-of-the-art sensors that go into smartwatches and health devices, was planning to make many of their chips here. But since Nexperia took over, they'll be forced to shift all their manufacturing offshore. Compound semiconductor technology in the healthcare industry can completely revolutionise it. So we've got part of the chain we've invested in, and we've got the end of it, but the middle bit what are we going to do? We're going to ship it off somewhere else where, you know, we're going to lose control of it, um, that we're not going to get the full benefits. And some semiconductor veterans argue that Newport is and was an underappreciated champion in its field. It's got a lot of advanced processing techniques in there, which many of their competitors can't do. Nexperia couldn't do it. So they went to Newport Wafer Fab initially as a customer, and now they then acquired it. So there's special know-how there that, you know, is, is pretty unique to, to that cluster in South Wales. Absolutely. And, and that know-how um, is likely to be transferred to Nexperia's factories in, in, in China. This is no easy decision. How to balance these concerns and those of national security against the fact that a plant which, having struggled for years, has fresh investment from its new owners. The final decision is due in early September if politics doesn't intervene again. Ed Conway, Sky News in Newport.